Hello and welcome to the next edition of Midnight Ramblings. I'm Damien. Today we got Trevor. Hello. Douglas. Hello. And William. Hi. Now today we'll be talking a few things, but I wanted to get something off my chest and uh, bring a question to you guys real quick. Yes. Um, Please bring this question. Yes. So, <laughs> what do you think is the best fruit or ingredient that you can put into a food? And now, why is it apples? Okay. And why is it apples? Why Why is <laughs> blueberry to start I'm off with? I'm saying it's blackberry. Blackberry cobbler, blackberry lemonade. Okay. Blackberry lemonade. Pie. I'm not counting lemonade. The, lemonade's a drink. It's not a baking food. It's not a food you make. Okay. So It's still delicious. I agree. It's, Strawberry is the best lemonade, thank you. And yes, it That's is fair. Lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. lemonade. All right, so quick backstory before they get too into it. Uh, we were eating at Cracker Barrel the other day, me and William, and you know they have they serve breakfast all day, and so we had to just work the shift and we wanted to get some food and I ordered blueberry pancakes, and I thought to myself, I don't think there's a more versatile fruit mm -hmm. that you can put into anything that you can bake, cook with, drink with. Since we're on the subject of lemonade, that's more versatile than blueberry. That's just my opinion. Because when you think about it, you got everything that sounds delicious but by the, itself, like muffins, uh, the, the, pancakes. The key fix your wording, blueberry is more versatile than any fruit. You said more versatile than blueberry, as in like more, whatever. We get the point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that we are American, and there is nothing more American than apple pie, and there's nothing more southern than peach cobbler. I don't see blueberry in anything. Wait, in what about nature. rhubarb? That's pretty southern. I'll give you rhubarb pie as well. Rhubarb is pretty southern. Yeah, it yes. is. Yeah, yeah. With that said, it ain't blueberry. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. I'm still going, like, yeah. Because I, I said peach to begin with. But then Trevor brought up apple, like, maybe Not 30 see. seconds before we started recording. I'm still and going I, with blueberries. I'm, I'm now on apple. Because um, you got apple pie, blackberry. apple cobbler, apple crumb. Apple crumb. Mm. Apple Danish. Apple Danish. You got blueberry Danish. Though. Actually, you know what? I saw about apple donuts and like apple fritters. I'm back on. I'm, I'm on the apple. Apple train. fritters. <laughs> apple, apple fritters. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I am Team Apple for life. Yeah. Hashtag Team Apple. So you can't do apple muffins. I'm so you on do, blueberry you muffins. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can do muffins. apple muffins. You can't yeah. do apple pancakes. Yeah, that was a little hard, but you that can do it. Hard. You can do it. That's you can just... do apple toppings on pancakes. You can do yeah. apple toppings. Apple toppings. That's apple topping. We're talking about cut inside. No, just go with pancakes. Yeah, no, you um, you put it in, you pour the syrup on top, and then, or oh, like don't get me wrong. Top, then when you flip it, like when I was a cook, it'll be on top, and then you put the syrup on top. Yeah, dude, I've done it. Like when I was a cook yeah. at East Town, the East Town Cracker Barrel, like everyone loved these pancakes I made. It was I put the batter, and then another batter I had made. I put apples, cinnamon, and vanilla cream, and put that all mixed in. Put more batter on top of that. And they poured more batter on top, made it like just one giant fluffy pancake. All right, and you want to talk about drinks with lemonade? And that shit was kind of good. Have you ever had apple pie moonshine? I have. What oh, the hell have is you that? Ever had, have, have you ever had blueberry moonshine? Yes. No, I haven't. It's, I don't even want to try it. It's actually quite delicious. <laughs> said, I don't even want it. <laughs> Although apple pie blackberry moonshine, collar man. moonshine is the shit. Are you credit that? What is it? Blueberry lemonade uh, brisk tea? I think it was. That we tried. fire. No, that no, no, is no, no. really fire. good. <laughs> the, the favorite <laughs> really tea good. mix with fruit, I'll have to give the team peach. Because uh, peach diced tea is Peach diced tea addicting. is probably one of the best teas. It, it is addicting. Cause I can what, drink that for weeks. Because I even went to like emojis when I was talking about how good peach was. <laughs> I was like, it's even an emoji. Oh, dear God. Like, yeah, but that's for a different reason than you know it. I mean, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's even a nickname. Well, how about this? New York, the Big Apple. What other city is named after a fruit? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's one I just don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. Not, not nicknamed due to their production of fruit, like Florida being the orange state, but... Yeah, I was like... Yeah, I don't think city. there's any apples in New York that's grown. No, there's apple orchards outside. Of no, New York. there's like the whole upper part of New York is just random cows little crap. and fruit. Yeah, cows and fruit, cows and fruit. That's yeah. pretty much it. Okay. What about some vegetables? I think you got New York switched up with Kansas. No, like I think my ex girlfriend switched up with Pennsylvania. Like yeah. my ex girlfriend had family up in upstate New York, and like that was literally all they had. Like they owned like that's all they had. I think it was like a hundred acres of land. And it was just cows and fruit. 
That's it. That's all they had. I don't know. Again, I think you're talking about the Midwest. Anyway. Like Nebraska. No, 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 dude. That's corn. That's so corn. It was corn. still cow. That's why they're the Huskers. Hold, we're going to hold this to a vote. We're going to ask people. And then we'll show the results next week. Can we agree on that? Let's well, do it. I'm just going to survey a bunch of people. Okay. Just survey yeah. a bunch of people. All right, yeah. Go on to whose Twitter? I'll, no, I will say every person in my family will vote apples because my mom makes these baked apples where she puts in like a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of butter, and bakes these apples. And like, she, it's just fucking amazing. Yeah. See, a lot of people have Twitter. A lot of people don't actually use it as much anymore. <laughs> but you can do polls on Twitter now. You can do polls on Facebook. Yeah, you can do polls on Facebook. Wait. Facebook's probably... I don't know how, because we'll figure. I'm out. not a youngin anymore. I didn't even know they did this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about. <laughs> what do the What do the kids say nowadays? You know, it's lit, fam. <laughs> is that broccoli? Broccoli. <laughs> Whoa, that's that's <laughs> not it's, slang. It's it? it's Gucci. Is that? It, do the kids say that anymore? No, no, no it, broccoli it, slang wait. for weed. Ah, I fucking give up. I'm done. Good, it's like I'm something, done. something broccoli. They <laughs> <laughs> say home. Fucker and that pussy. sounds like some new age mumble rap bullshit. Oh, that's what that's what the nigga said. Yeah, let's not repeat that. I at least want to like get Make somewhat it. into it before I start naming body parts. Like, yeah, Will's yeah. been on. Don't this say kick. like and didn't say it. <laughs> Will's been on this kick about this song where the one lyric in the song where it's like, "Put that dick up in her pussy, bet she feel it in her toes." Why would you do it? We just said. Look, I'm just saying. Let's not Trevor, do your it. Turn. He did it in like the middle of us having another conversation. You just flat out stopped everything. Oh no, it was the same song. Very That's clearly song. spoke it. I don't like. Because I had just said song. let's not do it. You know, let's get he, a few in <laughs> before we start naming stuff like that. And Damien's like, huh, nope, <laughs> doing it right now. Look, wait, wait guys, now. all silence. <laughs> then say it. Like you can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> You very clearly waited for a break and then very well spokenly said the lyrics of the word. Yeah, that's... just crisp language so nobody can misunderstand it. Just saying. Okay. All right, let's let's move on to another topic. Um, I found out some interesting stuff about my family tree this past week. So this Y'all whole... own slaves? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe it's something we're investigating. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, you got three non-white people in the table. Well, it's more of being owned than actually owning. Um, Great grandmother might have been a slave. Do you look at him like he was like, "Oh, he's white." Like, how are you? <laughs> how was your family a slave? Because you kind of turned, looked at him like, uh, "Okay," <laughs> <laughs> like, "Sure." <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, give yeah, a weird no, look up and down. Uh, anyway, uh, she <laughs> Native American. Uh, Story is she was purchased off of the reservation post uh, to the family and took their last name and was, you know, pretty much made a wife. And then at some point later on in her life, in her 20s, she was a burlesque dancer here in town. Because it turns out there was burlesque dancing. Oh, snap. And then, you yeah, so that was... She was out there shaking her tail feather? Yeah. Well, I don't even think it, you pay the dancers. No, it's a it's They a just show. dance for free? No, they got paid by the theater paid. house. Oh, you don't get tipped, so she's not a stripper. No, no, no. She just starts out half naked. Well, burlesque dancers were actually well clothed. You have to remember it was like the 1920s. Uh, yeah, it was like showing knee down. Yeah. See, I'm thinking of like what it would be nowadays. No, no, no. It's no. basically just panties and big ass feathers. No, it's just like the bikinis no, no. that are just what see-through. The hell? Like you see everything... <laughs> But she's still wearing clothes, but it's just all see-through. And yeah. even the see-through clothes are still skimpy. <laughs> like, what's the point of it? Just be a stripper. Well, anyway, yeah, so it turns out that was something that was interesting to find out about your, like, great or great-great-grandmother. I forgot who they said was doing it. And uh, sure. they had a family member around that same time of Prohibition who uh, was a bootlegger and a famous gangster around here. And was going to turn himself in, ended up getting in a shootout with the police, and was shot 30 times. Said badass. And whose funeral actually filled up the football stadium. Damn. Badass. Like, people came from all over to see his his funeral because he was one of those, like, folk local heroes. That's like, how you DJ should people. go out. 
what in a blaze of gunfire like Queen Latifah did? Not Fucking like a bitch. Wait, That's how you grow up. Queen Latifah dead? Oh, it was in a... No. Oh, what's the name of that movie? Uh, shit. Oh, it hurts my black. <laughs> it hurts your black? <laughs> definitely not Beauty Shop. It's definitely not Beauty Shop. <laughs> or Last Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> what's the name of that movie? Shit, man, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Anyway, uh, one of us Google it while the others change topics. So that's pretty much what yeah, I have this iPhones, week. Douglas. No, I'm telling you to Google it. Yeah. Google what? Queen Latifah movie IMDb. stuff. Yeah. Queen Latifah IMDb. All right, so while he's doing that, who has the next topic? So that's pretty much what I had this week other than... Well, before we go news. on, I just want to ask you a question. How does it feel knowing that your ancestors might be slaves? Oh, I've known it my whole life. Coming from one black man to another possible Indian. Oh, we're very I mean, clearly possible. mobile. I am That's very fair. Cherokee. If you live in East Tennessee, you're at least Cherokee of some kind. Yeah, that was... She's potentially... She's supposed to be 100% Cherokee. That's what it's written as, but we believe she was actually a huge part in Melungeon. That one? Set it off. That's set it off. Movie. <laughs> well, he's, he's content now. Make you feel they better. were like bank robbers or some shit. I forgot what exactly they did. But she went down like a motherfucking man. I should have said like Denzel Washington because I know the name of that movie. Yeah, Training Day. Yeah. yeah. Who don't? Yeah. It's one of his best movies. Besides <laughs> so like Speak. Remember the Titans and uh, uh, was it man American Gangster? Is that what I'm thinking of? American Gangster? When I think Where he just killed that nigga in the middle of the street? Oh, yeah. 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 Totally. When I think of badass things <laughs> I watch it, though, I go straight to Man on Fire. He's just... Man on awesome. Fire. He did all sorts of bullshit in that movie. That and Book of Eli. That, that plot ah. twist. That, blo- that plot twist gave it a whole new light for me. It wasn't it's... much of a plot twist. It, they try to make it off like a big old plot twist. Like, spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. Like, he was blind, you know. Movie's like forever old. I don't think you need to spoiler alert. It. Look, it, it's still <laughs> just yeah. You still do. disclaimer purposes. I gotta let it out there, but yeah, he was blind the whole movie, and he's walking around like Moses did in the desert, and then he finds his white girl, Mila Kunis, who wants to like know his teachings. Is she? Like yeah, well she's Russian, she's, which yeah. is like the premier white. So is she? Not. I thought she was part some something else. I don't know she's what she Russian. is. It doesn't matter to me what she is. She's, she's from fine U- the way. USSR. I doubt that part. Okay, but. I doubt the USSR part. But yeah. She's, she's like what, not from 60s? here and born where they speak Russian. And rumor has it that she learned English by watching Bob Barker on The Price is Right. Wow, that's kind of dope. That's rumor. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we, you know we saw we. we oh no! I heard you. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, shit. I don't even remember what we was talking about now. The fucking Price is Right thing blew me out. <laughs> Good lord. Any time I hear Bob Barker, I just think of fucking Happy Gilmore, and beating the shit out of Ed Finley. And Robot Chicken. And Robot Chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he was running around neutering pets and stuff. <laughs> yep. Man, Robot and... Chicken pissed me off. Unpop opinion. Hated that show. Which one? Robot Chicken. In general, he just hated Robot Chicken. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't either. Just unpopular opinion. I thought the show was fucking stupid. That's like saying Rick and Morty's stupid. I'm not really a fan of that either. Mm. Like, you so, some episodes. So, now we're going to uh, have to find a new fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Like, like, <laughs> probably about like six episodes, and that's pretty much it. Uh, like Mr. Meeseeks, great. That's fucking, I love that episode. So it was like unpopular opinion thing. First off, thing. first off, even the pilot episode was hilarious. I mean, he got Rick and Morty, way 100 up. years. Way up. I mean, I like that one. That's like one of the few. Okay. And then, um, what was it? Jerry, they needed his penis to save, uh, I forgot the name of the Scribbly dude. Scribbly Pibbles. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen that. That whole episode was hilarious. Yeah. It's pretty much the way that the anatomy of the alien Scribbly Pibbles... Uh, he needed a heart transplant, but well, they're alien. Name? Scrimply Pibbles. Oh, he needed a heart transplant, and they had to use Jerry's penis. Well, the way that the anatomy of that alien race works is that it's the exact shape of a human penis. And it's Jerry penis just so happened to be in an alien hospital, and he was like the only human who was there being treated. 
was like, oh, we was asking you for this great leader and, I don't know, he was like some sort of freedom leader for like this alien race. They're like, oh, he's some, one of the most popular beings in the galaxy. Can you remove your penis and save his life? Yeah. So. I'm so confused. It was, it's just hilarious. You'll have to watch it. It sounds like some Rick and Morty shit. It sounds um, like Rick and Morty shit. Watch the playthrough of the virtual Rickality thing. That VR Rick and Morty. <laughs> VR yeah. Rick and Morty. I want to play it so bad. It actually looks pretty fun to play. It's I a short little it. storyline. It takes like maybe a couple hours to complete, but it it looks freaking hysterical. I'll have to check it out some other day. It looks like it would be... Uh, I don't know if it looks like, because I haven't seen what it looks like, but it sounds like it'd be awesome. So in this uh, brief little segue, uh, news guy, you got anything? Trump care. Why it's oh, going to be fucking God. terrible. Everyone call your senators right now. I don't care what state you're in. Call your senators. I said news, not politics. It's in the news. It is a news thing. Uh-huh. Like, because like half of America is now now has a pre-existing something. Yeah. Well, I've always had pre-existing conditions. Well, you I mean, can still know for like. I mean, now I service, do now. Like I, I have pre-existing conditions like cracked skull, messed up shoulder and knee. Well, see those those. I understand, but things like anxiety, acne, depression, sexual oh, assault. Acne? Acne is now a pre existing condition. So, uh, only like 1% of Americans don't have a pre existing condition? So, if you get like a tumor on your face and they want to give you some sort of cream for it, they ask you for any pre existing conditions and you have a pimple on your face, they can't prescribe it to you because it's a pre existing condition. Hey, Ma. The one I think it's, is just the worst is all right, then. the yeah. sexual assault and domestic violence. Yeah, that that like still is rape is confusing. a pre-existing condition. Getting beat by your husband or wife, pre-existing condition. I mean, I was abused for several several years as a youth. But like uh, that shouldn't take away from you getting health insurance. Well, it sounds like that's a pre-existing condition now. I mean, that's some bullshit. Good luck getting health care. Like, I already have health insurance. Uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure you, drop you. it's damn near impossible for you to not get health insurance being on the service. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, no, I can, I can, I can, I'm railroaded by that. It's like, yeah. Like, yeah, I, get, I can get free health care about eight months after I need it. Yeah. I mean, it's still Dude. free. <laughs> <laughs> that's like getting the app for free that's so loaded with ads, you just are going to pay the 99 cents to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. Like, they know what they're doing. It's like, it's technically free to play. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, no, every time I press A, a freaking ad comes up. Yeah. It's not free. Ads. Like, <laughs> no, I don't need Cialis. Go the fuck away. <laughs> yeah. At least give me ads relevant to the, to my demographic. Which is weird. Like penis enlargement? Now off mm-hmm. of that. <laughs> oh, I get yeah, it. Like that. that. small penis. <laughs> Now off of that, I'm sorry, Mr. Google Anaconda. will, like, it tracks, like, your Google searches to, like, where the ads on your games will start showing stuff that you, like, recently looked up for, like, stuff like... Oh, they've been doing that for years. It's, it's still weird to me. Like, that's like, that's a part of it. That's You can sign up for the analytics. It's, oh. so, it's so that they can yeah. show you stuff that you actually might buy instead of just popping up with... Yeah, that's hey, why uh, that's why I Google random stuff all the time. Oh, just, just, get just to see, ads. Yeah. just to see what <laughs> ads they think I want. Oh, so like, that's why Word Cookies was asking me if I want to meet local singles in my area. Oh, that's that's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you looking for that slutty girl? We got just the one. <laughs> Like, Looks just like, like your favorite porn much, star. How, how much porn how, how you got to be that? watching <laughs> for that ad? <laughs> like, like you got to be... Oh, so guys, health studies are being made to see if frequent masturbation actually leads to erectile dysfunction in men. Uh, I, know, I could, you, that could probably actually... And here, here's that's, the, that's fair. Here's the reason. <laughs> yeah. There are actually several reasons for it. One, desensitization, which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Two, that during masturbation it's usually conceived of as, you know, an impure act and you need to get it over with quickly here in the Western civilization. So it's more like a pump and done type thing where you're trying to get 
get it done as soon as possible so that it actually pump causes... Pump and done. Oh, I thought you said pump and dump. <laughs> <laughs> I did now. <laughs> so it actually is causing, like, uh, premature ejaculation. And as an adult, if you masturbated a lot as a youth... Well, I guess I'm going to have ED here in about two years. Yeah. Think about oh, it like that. It's a lot of <laughs> masturbating to have it at, like, what, 24? 25. 25. No, Whoa. it's like something that if you started as a teen, it will develop in your 20s. For real. Thank God I started late. <laughs> what, like eight? I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just flat out like, oh shit, I'm fucked. Like, hey, fuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> damn it. Oh, man, I was like 15. I guess I'm going to be doing a lot less 16, masturbating. Maybe. Well, a it's, lot less. A lot less. Well, it's like one of the things where it's like watching pornography and masturbating. It's something that they're actually looking into, and it... It seems sound in logic, but the science behind it might still be completely fucking flawed. I mean, it makes sense. Well, well some of the whole vaccine and autism thing, but that's I mean, yeah, like to contradict what I just said, I just said it because I like the joke. But like, I don't really masturbate a lot, so I'm not too worried about this study. So, well, well I mean, like, I mean, as a teenager, it. Maybe, I mean, yeah. as a teenager, as, as a teen, yeah. Like, yeah like, now that I'm an adult, well, no, like I just got shit to do. Like as yeah. an adult, I, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to work at five in the morning every day. Like I'm I busy. Ain't got time. <laughs> yeah. I come home, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> well, to be fair, if I can throw my two cents into the desensitivity, is that what you said? Yeah, desensitization. It kind of makes sense because there was no, that, that one, one time that I had like that dry streak for like three years, oh, and then out there like that. Well, yeah. Damn. But <laughs> when I finally did, you know, get some in a way, it, it kind of... In a of, way. Oh, 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 way. Mom, if you listen to this, go ahead and shut it off. Damien says that sex is the devil's exercise. Go ahead. He That was me talking, Mama. Go ahead. Well, no. my mom already knows because she's walked in on mm. me more than once. Oh. Same. My mom oh, doesn't care wait. that I, I have sex. Nope. Oh. My mom just asked me why am I not having sex. No, so my mom that'll, that'll me kill that. an erection forever if my mom walks in on me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Damien, you got everything in there that you need. Mm -mm. All right, I, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just saying like be mijo. the desensitization. Yeah, I mean Dang. the first time it kind of like I kind of had a problem, but and then after that. It was oh, yeah. The, the theory is like the desensitization goes along with anything. Well, no. In that three-year stretch, there was a lot of masturbation. So, oh, I know. <laughs> but the whole oh, reason look, behind it, it was is the three-year dry dude, streak. Don't like, look at me like that. Okay? Your eyes got big. And your eyebrows went up. <laughs> that like, a lot. Douglas slept in your floor for that. <laughs> that time. You know, look, it was like eyes. at the tail end where you stayed with us. In nah, it years, was like so. a year. No. I was with y'all for almost a year. And then we moved to uh, Eagle Point, and then now. Like, he's been living with us for, like, three and a half years now. Well, yeah, but no. It was, like, way beforehand that, too. Because we started working at Cracker Barrel at uh, 2012, I think. And then the hell if I knew. Dude, that's, like, five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like October 2012. Uh, that is... Something to think about. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm working in uh, January 12th. Oh, my yeah, God. Don't remind me, man. That's... Oh, fuck. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Like, I just hit my four years at Cracker Bro, and they're like, wow, Will, can we just hit your four years? What'd you think about it? I've been here four years? <laughs> that was my response. Like, I've been here four years? They're like, oh, well, never mind then. We're going to give you a pin. I'm like, keep that damn pin. Wait, like a writing pin or like a... A pin. Like, a pin. Oh, like you put on your jacket or backpack yeah. or something. Like the yeah, Pokemon ones we Like the ones like that Joe that. wears on his shirt. I want to get the Mimikyu one later today, for the record. <laughs> I'm in. <clears throat> Mimikyu. Oh, I don't know yeah, if we've talked about one. Pokemon on here yet before, have we? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Look at us. We went wow. this long with no Pokemon. Four weeks. We play a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, play yeah, a we, lot of Pokemon. We play. <laughs> like, no, I, play no, I think we did because didn't we mention your... In the first episode, we mentioned the calculations that you spent over a year of your life uh, yeah. playing Pokemon. It's no, no, true. no, no, no. We didn't do that in the podcast. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. That was one of the things we mentioned. Oh, okay. Well, then. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I remember that particular. I'm just wanting to say that if you don't know who Mimikyu is, I can't remember how to spell it off the top of my head because I know there's a Y in there somewhere. M I M I M I K Y U. Yeah, I missed some letters. You went M-I-Y. 
<laughs> Did I ever tell y'all I fucking sucked at spelling as a child? Like, thank God for computers. Oh, I, yeah. I would be seen as illiterate. If it wasn't for autocorrect, man, I'd be done. Yeah, oh, <laughs> if, if spelling had to be an actual life skill like it used to be, I, people would assume I was mentally handicapped. Yeah. I already can't speak English. Yeah, we learned that in the last podcast. Yeah. Two podcasts ago. <laughs> yeah. You just I'm, already, words. <laughs> I'm already bad at English, so like, I, they'd kick me off of a cliff. No, I, mean, I think like, that's how Spartans did it, wasn't it? Or, they Yeah, they punted babies off a cliff if they were seen as deformed or yeah. small. <laughs> God, God damn. damn. <laughs> that is ruthless. Like, this baby looks stupid. <laughs> and then the one time they didn't oh. do it. <laughs> they didn't do it one time, and what happened? That Crumbled little movie. Hey, hey, hey. What? Hey. The one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one time they didn't, he came back and just... Thank God people don't do that no more. Imagine if, like, that was still a thing in, like, today's life. Whatever. Dude, if you gave birth to an orange a... baby, we wouldn't have Trump as president. <laughs> no, I believe that, you know, natural selection should be a thing. You know, take warning labels off of stuff and let the stupid call themselves out. Yeah. As bad as that sounds, it's it's the truth. If you... It's very... It's the least expensive way. If you are to the point where you rely so much on being warned about danger, then you have no sense for yourself, and it's just going to cause issues going down the line. And I feel like that is a problem with society is that we're so, we attempt to nurture and like prevent. It's like, oh, you know, you need to be warned about everything. It's like, no, let them touch the stove. They ain't going to do it twice. Mm -hmm. If they do it twice, they done. Unless, or it's a fetish. I was like, <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you're me and you're ah. just being spiteful. Like my dad, would, my dad would watch me do something stupid and be like, hey, I bet you're not doing that again. And I'd stare him straight in the eyes. I did it again. Like, hey, dad, dad. Touch. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you're going to do that again. Bitch, watch. Ow, damn it. So you going to do it again? Quit asking. Yeah. <laughs> Please Quit stop. Quit asking me. I'm going to keep touching the damn stove. I don't know any better. <laughs> no, but, um, so we went through apple being the best blueberry ingredient. I was a with. three, three to one. It's, it's three to one right in now. In this room. Apple fritters sold three me. To one. <laughs> apple <laughs> fritters sold me. And apple uglies. Right, with different the, from apple fritter. Still delicious. There's yeah. blueberry <laughs> uglies, which is just, a, just as delicious. No. Yes. No. All right. No. So blueberries lost at the table. Yeah. At, I'm, at, I'm, I'm going to pull blueberry this. Stuff. I'm gonna I say pull that this. as I'm drinking a blueberry fucking ah! apple. I mean... Given the there company we work for <laughs> has inside blueberries because they didn't come out with any other fucking pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> like, our company, one of the biggest restaurants in the uh, nation... But I'm just saying... Has inside blueberries. Apple so. is an appetizer, a dish, and a dessert. Done. You can even put it on salads. What, apples? Yeah. Apple pecan. Yeah. Mm. Which... And a snack. You can eat blueberries as a snack. Can't eat it as an entree. Or not an entree. I, I will admit. An entree. Appetizer. How you can, can you eat, eat blueberries as, as a snack, yes, but let's face it, if I'm, I'm trying to like snack on a fruit, shit like that. I'm going to grab oh. a big, juicy, crisp apple as opposed to a handful of mushy-ass blueberries. Yeah. Like I said, I've eaten yeah. apple more as a snack than I have blueberries. Apple's got three different colors, too. They, they pretty to look at. You can make a traffic light with them. Yeah. You could make a traffic light. Oh what happens? <laughs> so I had to shine a light on the apple. Blueberries are purple. That is true. They're not so even their <laughs> color. <laughs> so it's a lying fruit. <laughs> to be fair, apple's not its color. I mean, what the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you look at me like that. I just want to see I what guess, the response would be. I guess you're right. <laughs> no, why? Apple's not a color. Yeah, with that logic, yeah, of course. But orange is a color. But can't be apple red is. And that's a pretty ass red. All Candy right. apple red. Is so orange the color because it's orange or is it like no, it's man. called orange because it's an orange? The I fruit mean, was called an orange after the color. How do you know that? I mean, in Research. my... Research. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust Google. Grade school knowledge? Like, come on. What? It's like, what came first, chicken or the egg? Oh, well, I started getting the egg in like kindergarten. were evolved so. from dinosaurs, so... There was oh, at some point a genetic mutation that caused the 
the egg to come out of something not a chicken and the egg wasn't a chicken. So, egg comes first. Boom. Science. That's pretty much evolution 101. Yeah, look, we, we've we taught you so much stuff today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, um, don't get sexually assaulted or you won't get insurance. I feel Apple like that. is the best. <laughs> Damien disagrees. Uh, the egg came before the chicken. And orange is named after the color orange. The fruit, well, the fruit orange, orange is named oh, after yeah. the color orange. The fruit orange is named after the color orange. We need we need a qualifying statement. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. It's still still good. Still good. It's, it's still fucking confusing. And I don't know if um they won't know that it is the fifth. We did this on Cinco de Mayo because And I'm currently drinking. We're borderline alcoholics. Mm-hmm. Say borderline. Borderline. Uh, you a, guys can call me an alcoholic. Oh, you are. Fuck you. <laughs> you're not a raging alcoholic, though. It's a difference. Yeah, you're not a raging like, alcoholic. You're a nice it's, alcoholic. I am not an alcoholic right now because I am just doing social drinking because I have friends about. That's my family's rule. As long as somebody else is there, you are not an alcoholic. It's social drinking. What about the other years? But what about, like, if the other person's <laughs> not drinking? <laughs> Don't matter. You're being social and drinking. Whatever. Social drinking. But what about if you're just, like, alone in your room drinking? I do that say, shit all the time. Say you don't do that. Mm-hmm. Like, I take two shots before bed every night. Why and you I'm the alcoholic? Know? Yeah, that no. I that's... didn't say... Look, I don't drink every night. I didn't, I didn't say, say I wasn't. Yeah, I didn't say <laughs> you were, like, the biggest alcoholic. You have all the symptoms of one. It's very it's not familiar a to me. See? It's a hobby. I just do it to go to sleep. That's what an alcoholic Because if I don't go to sleep, I'm not going <laughs> to go up. I'm not yeah, go if up. drinking <laughs> is a hobby... You're an alcoholic. Fuck <laughs> yourself. Because other people like go and learn guitar. If drinking is for how to paint. If drinking is for recreation, no, you're an no, alcoholic. I drink. First off, we drink for recreation. It was like the whole like every Friday living in okay. Shaw Plains a party. How, how's this? How's this? <laughs> I say I'm going to stop drinking and drink less all the time. And the one thing that stops me is you guys invite me over for shit. I'll sit down and go. I need to drink less. Next to know, I come over here. Hey, we're doing beer pong. Hey, you want a rum and coke? That was you, Will. Hey, you want a beer? I was about to drink. All I've never you. offered you a rum and coke. Cause you don't Why like didn't rum. you offer me? You like, you uh, sat there, though, and been like, Hey, dude, I'm going to get accidentally drunk today. Want to join me? When? Like, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? You got accidentally drunk and wanted me to join you. Yeah, the uh, yeah. and apple juice. Yeah, no, 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 he, no, this was when he just kept drinking the Henry's, no, it might have been a month ago, when he kept drinking the leftovers from Damien's party. Oh, yeah, Damien had a birthday party, and we had a bunch of alcohol left. So I just got up one day, and I was like, hey, I like the way this tastes, hey, I like the way this tastes, hey, I like the way this tastes, and then by the time I realized it, I was already like eight down. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <noon. laughs> he was like, I had a lot of these today, and it is like, not even noon. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was drunk at like 11.30. AM. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do, so I figured, fuck it, why not just keep going? Oh, I came home. Can't get a hung, can't get hung over if you keep drinking. Like today, I had my first drink at what eight? Not even. Like seven fifty. In yeah. the morning. I go seven fifty. Yeah. At least I wait till five. No, nah, I like woke up. Uh, what time is it? Got out of bed. Five. Fuck. Went and got, <laughs> <laughs> I went and got an Angry Orchard before I even pissed this morning. Oh, okay. That, yeah, yeah, that's bad. See, I mean, like... I like the taste of... What is it? Green Apple Angry Orchard? Yeah, that stuff is pretty good. I will admit, I'll be like, oh, taste. I want apple juice with my breakfast. Do I have apple juice? Angry Orchard, close enough. Yeah. This nigga has apple juice. <laughs> Not uh, okay, apple, apple juice cocktail. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but see, oh, the it correction was, like, was real. <laughs> it was like two weeks ago. I came home. So, they sent me home early after opening, and they sent you? him. Yeah. Like I came home and this dude. Any more of those? This guy was Douglas was sitting in his room, was just like, "What's up, man? I may have been day drinking a little bit today." It's like, "What's a little bit?" Got that peach vodka and some apple juice. I had about seven. <laughs> Jesus. And I was like, "You know what? Make me one." And he was like, "It's a sip and drink." I took a sip. It was delicious. Chucked it down. Oh my god. Got a second. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the only thing that qualifies as like sipping drinks to me are they're so strong you pretty much have to sip them. Yeah. If it tastes good and you're like, no, it's a sipping drink, I'm like, watch me sip this. It was just 
down it. Like that Johnny Walker Bloom getting. Yeah. Or that. What do we call it? What? The mixture we made that. You, it, oh, this is water? Yeah, it colored water. Yeah, that's what colored we call water. it. Colored, colored water. Colored water. Colored water. It's an alcoholic mixture that we made. Cranberry that juice is, dude, and Tavarski. It's Tavarski that you can't taste. Like, it literally tastes like nothing. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Dude. It, yeah, no, imagine, it's like, so getting... It tastes like you're drinking water, imagine like, it feels like water. Imagine you've made one, right? You made a big glass of it, and you drink it, and you're like, oh, I can't taste it. Let's see if we can do this again. And then you do, and then you try to stand up and go and go somewhere. You can't, right? I know, because I had to sleep at Doug's house that night. Yeah. He was just, <laughs> like, taste testing it for me, and we got it perfect. And, and then we was drunk- able to recreate it. Pretty easily. Yeah, we recreated. Like that I was same able to taste like, a little bit of the like cranberry four juice. Four times in a row. Yeah, I tasted a little bit of cranberry juice, but then the second time you guys made it for me, straight up water. It's not even water. Like water. It's it's, uh, it's vodka. Yeah, like even the consistency was like water. Yeah, and it's so confusing because you're like, this isn't right. This can't. No, yeah, this is wrong. It's purple. And then you stand up and you realize, oh shit, this did have alcohol in it. <laughs> I can't go home now. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Because he drunk like five glasses. I drunk like four. Oh, that sounds like a trap. And <laughs> we were just sitting at the table chilling. He's like, all right, I'm going to go home. And he went to stood up and just stumbled like four steps. <laughs> like, so now I'm not going to accept anything dark colored. Like, cranberry like we were just sitting here like chill. I think, didn't we play some poker too? Uh, I think we just played like slapjack or something stupid like that. Yeah, we were just like... We were just playing a game and just we're drinking it and just having a good time. And I was like, all right, well, it's time to go. Tom, 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 um, where's your couch? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see sounds, it. Where's your couch? <laughs> that sounds like a trap. Oh, dude, it, it is. It's so fucking And I want to play it with no. beer pong. No. You get one game, Douglas. Oh, dude, you get no. one game. No. You play Damn. one game. One yeah, on one. You get no you, game. You are me. allowed one game Douglas. of that. that. That has to be a house rule. Like, you can only do Damn. it once. I'm down. One on one, me versus you. Oh, you guys have fun with that. We're not filling them up all the way. If no, no. no if just, at once you guys play with Tavarski, I'm out. But we gotta do beer out. first. I feel like you could use like Smirnoff for like. No. I don't know how. Else. Bad. No, it had it pretty much. Cause remember we didn't we try it with something else and it didn't work. We tried it with apple juice. Mm. That was awful. No, no, no. We we tried it with. Tavarsky. Oh, I tried it with apple juice. Don't okay. do it with apple juice. No, we tried to substitute in the Tavarski for another. First of all, vodka. there's 15 cups on the orange table juice for each side. Worst come to worst, that's 15 shots you're taking of Tavarski. Yeah, that's too much. Well, 15 half shots. It's like a what a 50-50 still mixture? poison. Uh, it's like a 40-60 mixture. Yeah. Yeah, it's still bad. Yeah, it's like, still you, bad. In one of those red solo, like, you're still getting fucked. They gave me a cup full, like in a red solo cup. No, if that's you want, still like three shots of vodka. If you guys want to make it more interesting, yeah. buy those like red solo shot glasses. Have like six of those, and then play skill ping pong or beer pong like that. No, I was no, just thinking we, we do, do like that, one ounce shots we, each. I have the one ounce no, pour glass. I'm we need like alcoholic. a giant triangle of that. Are you trying to die? Yeah, you're, you're talking about like. 30 something cups? Yeah, but it's little shot glasses of the cranberry and. Oh, you're talking about. Can that still even get not better, Will. Not without it being perfect down. That's what I was like. It makes it like even that. better. No, fuck like that. It you makes it take too over. long. Will, you have a death wish. I mean, yeah. Look, I just want to make. Thing. I want to make, like. No, punch that's punch a pretty punch decent condition. That. Um, <laughs> who all went to the beach with me a couple years back? I think not it was me. Donnie, Brennan, Zach. Caitlin, Bryce. Was, I think it was Bryce. It was Zach, just them. Brennan, Donnie, and Caitlin. Brennan, Caitlin. Yeah, it was just them. We made. They the invited stuff, like, me, but it was last second on their way out of the city. <laughs> like, so, hey, I wasn't in charge like, of that. I was, well, I was like, a little mad that Brennan texted me. He was like, "Hey, you want to come to the beach? Yeah, I'm down. Well, we're about to leave Knoxville. What? It's like." Fuck you guys. But, um, we hollowed out a watermelon, blended the watermelon, and because we had terrible vodka, it was like ska vodka, Mike's Hard Lemonade, blended watermelon. That sounds and the absolute worst thing ever. What is in the vodka? Something drink? else. I forgot what all was hmm? in it, but it actually was pretty good. In the blender? Is that? The same shit. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't cleaned the blender since y'all was fucking around making drinks. That was a good time. That was a whole That was really good. It was. 
That was really that was I mean, a whole alcohol. week ago. It was, was an alcoholic smoothie. smoothie. It was a whole week ago. Like you can't talk. It was Thursday last week. Was it Thursday? Yep. Ooh. Oh, a week and a day. I need to get back to holding my days. <laughs> You're like, it was a few weeks ago. <laughs> that was weeks ago, motherfucker. <laughs> I've, I've been through a lot, all right? <laughs> it's all good. All right, so Douglas brought the idea of having a weekly segment for this podcast. And yeah. We couldn't think of one, so I, I have an idea. I gave you one, remember? That, Worst ideas of the week. We yeah. go around the table and name the worst ideas well, we've had in the past. I haven't had a bad idea this week. We have a running. I have a running idea right now. So let's put it to the test. It's gonna. I'm gonna come up with a better name, but for now, is it a jar? Oh, oh like yeah. A good point. <laughs> is right. it a jar? So Do they know the, what the jar is. Well, just a quick refresher. I don't think we've covered it in the past, but if not, we have this jar that we keep at home. Uh, if anybody watches the show New Girl, this is a character on the show called Schmidt, who's pretty much a douche. So I'm so, mad that I'm Schmidt. On, like the, sh- on the show. On the show. Oh. I didn't watch. This is, this is less. I'll give you that. That is less. It's still a lot. Right now they're judging. So much I'll put. They're judging put. Justin about a. Uh, I have a high tolerance. How much Captain right. Morgan he's putting in his drink. Me too. But in the show, Schmidt has this jar that his roommates uh, make him pay every time he like says or does something that's Schmitty or pretty much douchey. So we've kind of adapted the same idea and created a Schmidt jar, where if one of us says or something douchey, we bring it to the table. It's at least two thirds vote, and if it, I'll say not two thirds. It's majority vote. Well, majority vote. If it's majority vote, then whoever is accused has to pay money. So, on to the jar. I think it was yesterday, yesterday or two days ago, Thank where God, today. we were talking about women. Me and Douglas. I was cooking. Uh, on the grill line at Cracker Barrel. I know what you're about to say. You miss... Go ahead. Keep going. Okay, so we were cooking, and we were talking about <laughs> women. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but he was talking about... What, what did you say? Oh, if you don't know, I ain't telling you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, <I'm> okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no? Because you mistook what I said and jarred me for it and no, then I explained it to you because I he was j- like oh okay I jarred you after you explained it still I can't take it back now so I gotta Wait, I gotta bring it yet? I gotta bring it to the council yeah you gotta bring it at least but to he, the table I know I know the punchline was that women was it women are like money like you always have to have more of them and like I said jar and you just started laughing which is a guilty sign of yours anyway yeah, no. it is. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I was like, you could probably take that differently. Yeah. You're like, jar. I was like, yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about now. But what, what was the words? What, what were the wording? I need to know the wording for a jar. I forgot what you, how you something. explained it. Because if it's the way he's saying it, then yeah, that's, yeah, that's a jar. I can't remember the context of it. So that's exactly what he said. He just didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what what I no. accused him for the jar of was that one line. But we forgot what the context was. I'm only judging him and jarring him from that one line. Not what we were talking about prior. Yeah, no. If it if the I'm asking for the wording of the line though. Was that right? It's along the same lines, or it's like money or cash. No, because it's no, it's similar, but it's not the same. Yeah, no, I don't remember it, my exact words. But that's more or less of what he said. More or less. But, you no, know, I'm saying for Jarzo, we have to be kind of specific, because he could have said something you misheard a word or two Mm-mm. and it therefore not be a jar. I mean, the uh, way I said it, does it sound right or sound like it could It's be a little off. Is but... the context at least right? What do you, okay, around what you think you said, what do you think it was? Because it was something, I forgot what the context was, because like I remember I added that sentence and it ran into that. So like what you just said is like half of my sentence, but I don't remember the first half. Well, what was what was the second half that he's referring to? Um, it was something about him and some girl, and I told him he should get with a different girl or something like that, something along those lines. And then I was like, yeah, man, just get another girl. I mean. I think that was about it. Yes. <laughs> it was about it. All right, yeah, and then I was like, that's yeah, dark. Because <laughs> I'm, women, 
Because yeah, I was like, women are like girls. So far, yeah, that's... Women are like women, girls? Really? Women are like no money. Shit. Money or cash more, or something like you that. You always need more. You can always use more. Something like that. Yeah, yes, as long yes. as some of those keywords and say, yeah, no, your jar is <laughs> pay that dollar. It was a sarcastic comment to a stupid conversation. How many sarcastic comments have we made that we end up getting jarred for? That's fair. Almost all of them. I mean, almost all the things that we are been jarred for we're not serious on, but still You jarred me because I made a sarcastic comment about a girl in the car next to us. Or the car in front of us. Wait, what'd, what'd you say? You say? Huh? Oh no, it was um Oh man this cute girl. Came up into the turn lane. No, you said something close. super creepy. No, no that's no. why I jarred you. <laughs> What'd you say, Justin? Oh, <laughs> uh, was it? She was really cute. We looked over at her. She got in front of me at the uh, red light going to East Town Mall from Walmart. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we we're like, oh, she's cute. And I was like, huh, I ruined her. Ha ha, joke, joke. Because <laughs> I was literally pulling up behind her at the time. <laughs> so wait, wait, Trevor, have you been? Have you paid money for this jar? Yeah. Okay. Good. Because I was about to jar you right there. <laughs> I was like, if not, you have it's to. A, like, it's a sarcastic. No, it was brought up, and y'all, y'all flat. I'm, I'm just I saying. see that it was a douchebag comment yeah. and stuff. Like most of the things but it was that we sarcastic. Say. I mean, let's face it, ninety percent of what we say sarcastically are douchebag comments. Fine, yes. fine, fine. I'll pay the damn dollar. <laughs> I love how we're so I debating in the shit when it's a dollar. That's, and then I can't remember what it was, so I can't like effectively to defend yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I never actually get my. In on this, I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I'll so, pay it later. There it is. Yeah. So somewhere in the comments, let us know how you feel about this segment, and maybe we'll keep it going on. I'm gonna say yeah. 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 yeah that was jars of the week. Well, we can table at least one or two, and then save them for the podcast. Because there's always like one, at least one accusation. Well, to be fair, I've been jarred the least since we moved. That is fair. Hell, I've, I've been, been jarred more than you. That's, yeah. I've been jarred twice. I've been By jarred the, the way, least. while we're on the air, I've I've, I've been actually a, been jarred like twice since y'all moved here. I forgot why you got jarred. I don't either, but, but I know I'm the I had one a that balance. called you out, and you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like there are <laughs> some oh, that we yeah. clearly are like. I do have like, a balance, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pay it. You've been jarred more than twice. No. Oh man, I know you. Maybe the gentleman. I don't jarred you three times in one day. The gentleman no. to my right. No, no, no. He's been jarred that many times, but he hasn't had to pay them all because of. Damien has to pay his next jars and stuff a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. So you've been jarred I've already twice. I've your next jar, though. But Damien's had to pay a yeah. couple of them. I remember that. It's like, I've only paid but twice. Yeah. yeah, but you've been jarred more than that. Like, it's just somehow Damien keeps having to when pay When we for first it. started this concept, Will was... It was because of me. Yeah, it was because of Will. <laughs> like, there was, there, was a, there was a time when we, we liked to refer to... We threw an entire barbecue off of my jar. Yeah. It was ours. I mean, even, I was at least a third of that. Even still. Okay, it was 98 bucks. I was 78. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you kept <can't> record. <laughs> Like that was beer. Like that, that ribs. was beer, ribs, chicken, burgers, bun, soda, drinks, for like, like fifteen people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then like after that, we spent the jar money to buy boxes and stuff to move. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell! Do a barbecue and had money left over. Yeah. See, like, like, <laughs> the jar was made for me, because they thought I was a douche. Whatever. I mean, you given really we've had are. this jar almost four years now. Wow, has it been that long? It's been it's been about pretty that close. Long. My Didn't dad just started. And... My dad was no. alive when we started. My dad paid five dollars to that jar. Yeah, he did pay about five dollars to that jar. But um, it's outro time. Who wants to do it? Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> of y'all unison, look at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, well guys, it's uh, it's been great rambling with y'all. We'll be back at uh midnight next week to hit some more topics of fun so it's been trevor douglas hey. will yeah and damien peace hey. <laughs> yeah 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 think Feel of, the tree now. <laughs> think of sean paul for the rest of this week please <laughs> i will survive <laughs> that's not sean paul, it's not sean paul. <laughs> no it's not. nowhere near it all right see you guys <laughs>